Did to my son. I miss my son. His son was killed by a hit and run driver, and tonight he's calling for justice. Medics pronounced Ruben Desinar dead at the scene. Our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson joins us tonight from West Washington. He's got the details about the suspect's van that you may recognize. Steve? Moments before the hit and run, the victim had just left the Conical gas station across Washington Street. The driver in this case actually crossed the center line. 22-year-old Ruben Denizar's family and friends shared these photos of him with Eyewitness News. The young hit-and-run victim's father wants the driver held accountable. I really appreciate that you can help me to find this man because it can happen to anyone. When you should have, he should have stayed in face, not being a coward, but he just hit and run. 13 investigates obtained a copy of the video Metro Homicide and Hit and Run detectives are using to try to identify the driver. When we slow down the video, you can see the van that struck Ruben while standing with his bicycle. My only boy that I had in my life, he was everything to me. <laughs> everything to me that I had, 22 years old. Ruben's like my son, you know. Family friend Shauna Griever told Eyewitness News that police updated her saying they've found the van in the video. For years, she's been like a mother to the Puerto Rico native. There wasn't a day that went by that he didn't think us were taking care of him. You know, he's so appreciative. Can I do something for you? Can I mow the grass? Can I pick up trash? Now, family friends like Shauna are helping Ruben's father plan his only son's funeral, hoping the driver is caught and punished. And I want him to pay for this, what he did to my son. I miss my son. Police would like to hear from anyone with information. You can call the Crime Stoppers hotline anonymously at 317-262-TIPS. On the Crime Beat, I'm Steve Jefferson.